to do another painting. Actually, I've been working on another painting, and uh, um, I kind of wanted to share my heart behind this painting. Um, I guess about, oh gosh, I don't even remember how many years ago. Um, 15, maybe, I'm not sure. I had a brother who, got, who did a lot of time in prison. Um, he got out. And he introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ. He also got me involved in, in prison ministry. Um, I remember I went to the prison with him. I was terrified. But he took me with him. And, and I saw my brother's heart was towards the prisoners, was towards the inmates. And so I just went along with him as his little brother. I, uh, I really admired him. And, and I really, uh, uh, he would disciple me. So... I would just follow him, and I remember going to the prison, and they opened up, they opened it up to uh, uh, for us to go into population. And they let all these inmates out of their cells. Uh, I was terrified. That was new to me, but my brother felt right at home because he had been in prison for years. Well, now he had a changed heart, and his heart was to reach the lost and to go back towards it to see the inmates and to visit them. And uh, well, anyways, long story short, I was there and. Uh, Something caught my attention about this one guy that was in there. He had his shirt off, and and he had a tattoo across his stomach, and it said "Unforgiven." Now, I was not the boldest Christian or anything like that, but when I saw how bold it said "Unforgiven" on his stomach, it triggered something in the inside of my heart, and it made me it made me reach out to him. And, and, and speak to him and just love on him and show him the love of Christ. Um, I didn't want to bash him or anything like that. Um, I was there before too, but when I saw that it said I'm forgiven, I asked him, uh, hey, I noticed your tattoo. He said, oh yeah, it says I'm forgiven. And I said, yeah, I noticed that, um, you know, the Lord can forgive you. And he said, no, there's no way that I can be forgiven for the things that I've done. And you know what? It broke my heart because... He was serious and he was so sincere. He believed with all his heart that there's nothing in the world that can take away the sin or the things that he had done in his life. It triggered something in the inside of me uh, to be bold in my faith, to be bold in to be bold in the gospel, to be bold in sharing the love and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. I told him, "You can be forgiven, and there's a way." That you can be forgiven and it's through the blood of Jesus Christ. I then went on. I don't know what in the world happened to me. Holy Spirit took over and I realized then that that uh, uh, the Lord was using me to witness to him. To share his son Jesus Christ with him. Well, this painting came from that from that uh, uh, experience that I had with that inmate. Um, it was a powerful time. That was the first time that I actually was able to, to minister or to witness or to share the gospel. Uh, with boldness because I saw how bold he was in believing that he could never be forgiven it stirred up a desire in me to tell people with boldness and with love that they can be forgiven and the only way is through Jesus Christ and so then that was stirring in my mind and my heart and my spirit and I decided to do this painting I've been working on it I'm going to show you the last part of it I'm going to allow you to, to watch me paint the last part of it and uh, I hope you're blessed there's somebody out there I believe with all my heart that you feel like you can't change. The world has told you that you can't change, that you're no good for nothing, and that you've done too much wrong to be forgiven. But I want to tell you today that I was that outcast. I was the one that people said he'll never change. That he'll he'll never he'll never do anything good. No good will ever come out of him. But I want to tell you that God reached in me and took out that heart of stone and put a brand new heart in the inside. My brother, my sister, Jesus Christ changed my life and I know he can change yours too. And he wants to, he desires to have a relationship with you because he loves you so much. And if it wasn't, if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't tell you. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you. But someone loved me enough to tell me that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. That if I ask him into my heart and I ask him for his forgiveness, that he'll come in and he'll forgive me. And he'll dwell in my heart through his Holy Spirit. He wants to live in your heart. You're not too far gone. Nobody's too far from God's reach. I love you and I hope that you're blessed by this painting. God bless you.
says you can't be forgiven. call you an outcast but Jesus Christ calls you a child of God that's who you are man of God you're a child of God. But don't let the world tell you any different. When you didn't have any strength and you didn't know how you got through it, it wasn't by coincidence or by accident. It was the Lord was with you the whole time. But sometimes it takes you becoming so small within yourself to realize how big He's always been.
God bless you.